In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to record the audio from a USB mic and the system audio at the same time using QuickTime as a screen capture device. So let's get into it. So how I figured out how to do this is using an app called I Show You. It's a free app. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So just search for I Show You Audio Capture. It'll take you to this website. It says shiny white box. I'm using Catalina, so I'll click on this. And then I'll download the installer and install the plugin. Once you have the app downloaded, open up audio MIDI settings. So just type in MIDI in search. You'll see right here, it comes up with I show you audio capture. It's already enabled. And then what you wanna do next is create a multi-output device. You tap on this plus sign and you'll see create multi-output device. So you'll wanna do that. I've already created it on here. And then you'll have to make sure that your USB mic and I show you audio capture are both in use. You know, you'll see the little check marks there. And then next you'll create an aggregate device. I've already done that as well. So you can see over here, the Rode NT-USB mini mic, which is my USB mic. You'll see that the mic is selected as is I show you audio capture. So once you get that set up, go over to your sound icon or just search for sound and that'll give you your sound preferences. And you'll wanna set your output to multi-output device. And then you wanna set your input to your microphone. And here's where you'll actually set the input gain of your microphone. So the next step is to go into QuickTime, which I already have actually open. You'll go over to File and then New Screen Recording. Go over to Microphone and click on Aggregate Device. And then you start the capture, and then you should be good to go where you hear your mic and your internal audio on your computer. Everything is happening at the same time, including your voiceover. It should be all good. So for example, if I wanted to record the audio from a YouTube video and then kind of do a voiceover after it, I'm gonna start playing the video. Ooh, it's chilly out there. Ooh, good thing I got these amazing 4K TVs behind me under $300. And then I wanted to continue a voiceover after that. It's pretty cool because now you can hear my voice being recorded on my USB microphone, but then you can also hear the system audio. So any audio that you're playing anywhere on your computer will be audible in that recording. For some music making apps and DAWs like Ableton Live that you can see on the screen here, you have to tweak an additional output setting in order to get your screen audio and your USB mic audio in the same recording. So here's what you have to do for that. Open up your preferences in Ableton Live, change the audio output device to multi-output device, and then the audio input device should be your USB mic, and that's pretty much it. This should not be so complicated, but Apple makes it way too complicated. If you have any suggestions on a better way to do this, let me know in the comments. But for me, this is the way that saved me a huge, huge headache, and it's a free way to collect all of your audio at the same time. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hit me up on Instagram if you have any more questions, and I'll see you in the next video.